That will wake up central morning original. These are new stories you won't see anywhere else. Now everyone's goal is to turn their passion into a career. Now to make this happen, you need the right tools for when local army veteran. That's not just a saying it's his new reality. Inside his cabin home, Kyle Cox is hard at work on his craft. I started woodworking as a hobby and it just kind of blossomed from there and kind of expanded. Like many of his early projects, something wasn't quite right in Kyle's life. I didn't know what to do at all. I bounced from job to job. I was a bouncer at a bar. I worked at a tattoo shop. I went into network engineering, help desk type stuff, and uh, I just couldn't really find my place. Years earlier, he found that his place was serving our country. I graduated high school in 2003. I graduated and two days later I was at basic training. Kyle served for nine years and went on to two deployments in Iraq before an injury ended his time in the military. It was pretty hard for me, mainly because I was expecting to be in another 10 years. I had 10 years in, I had just got my commission and graduated from college. I was in training and I was injured and it just kind of started the medical uh, retirement process. That's when he connected with Semper Fi and America's Fund. Kyle joined the apprenticeship program and his new passion was born. With woodworking, with working with your hands, there's, you feel good at the end of the day. You made something, you have something to show for. The fund has helped over 27,000 service members like Kyle. They, they have other programs where they you know, build houses for veterans that are you know, missing limbs and stuff like that. They do so much, it's been a, a great organization. Now, Kyle has taken the tools to turn his hobby into his new career. I would probably tell you you're crazy. I, I knew nothing about business. I, I never would have expected to want to go into business. It just seems like a really stressful thing, but it's uh, kind of a labor of love. And if you really enjoy what you're doing, then uh, you, you'll probably do well at it. He does some amazing work, and we've actually attached a link to Kyle's business Facebook page on our website, THV11.com, and it's incredible just to see what he can do with his hands. It's unreal. Yes, I, and the path it took him to get there. Mm -hmm. I, he found his place. He found oh, yeah. his calling. I, yes. I, I, I'm happy that's where the story ended mm -hmm. because at one point it wasn't so. It wasn't so he needed story. a he needed to find himself. He needed mm -hmm. to understand that you know I need a new passion, I need a new hobby because his life was yeah. service, yes. and he struggled with PTSD, and sure. then yet he's able to find this passion and through that fund to so many other veterans have discovered woodworking and he's uh, done YouTube videos and he's on Instagram and Facebook and so and it's not just woodworking but activities mm -hmm. and passion okay. for these veterans especially after their service when they're looking for something like that and they have a talent they maybe didn't know they had until yeah. they began oh, yeah. and loved and he says if you like what you do you'll be good at it I and he's it. really That's good at story. it too <laughs> well, well that's an incredible story thank you for sharing it